Hello there, this is a tutorial video for the article creator, specifically talking about the custom content and how to insert content on your hard drive and all the different varying settings that are available to you. So I'm going to kick things off by clicking on the new article creator button. I'm going to go and turn off some things and then I'm going to go straight to the custom content tab. I'm going to click on the add your own HTML content button. And this is going to give me the choice of inserting custom content into any generated article. By default, your selection is the body tag. You also have other options. So you can insert any of your custom content into the top, middle, end, or anywhere inside your article. And finally, you can have it inserted into the body template tag. Now, the difference between these top four options that are top, middle, end, anywhere, and the bottom option is if you select any of these top four options, your content will be inserted as is so no processing will be done on it so that means that your content that is inserted won't be wrapped in the template start and end tags also if you're going to insert links into your article if you use any of these top four options links will not appear in them however if you select the body tag it's going to wrap all your content in the template start and end tags and it's also going to insert links into that. So the best way to demonstrate this is with an example. So here we have insert into body tag. I'm going to set it at one to one paragraphs. Click the edit button. It's going to open up my text editor. Let's say this is my custom content. I'm going to save this file. Now to prove that links can appear in body tag content, I'm going to add a link very quickly. Now I'm going to change the article count to five so we can see a couple of different variations. The next setting that you want to take notice of is paragraph count. So this controls how many paragraphs will appear in the body template tag. So if I have selected five here and in addition, my custom content has specified one, my final article is going to have six paragraphs. So to see this in action, I'm going to hit the run button. Once the article creator task has finished running, I'm going to click on the open article save location button and I'm going to open the first file has been generated and if I look at the output my custom content has been inserted into the article body you notice that the content has been wrapped in paragraph tags and also there is a link has been inserted into my content if I open a different article you'll see that the custom content has appeared in a different location in the paragraph and the link has appeared also in the next paragraph here. Now the custom content function can be a little bit confusing. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a question in the video comment area down below or send me an email anytime, info at seocontentmachine.com.